Hi there guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about something I noticed recently that I haven't seen a lot of tests play out and um, Optimum Tech actually made a video that sort of came to a different conclusion than what I'm seeing with my eyes, which is why I think it's a bit unusual and it has to do with the importance of mice pulling rate and sensor where for the longest time I thought, eh, I can't really tell the difference, 500,000, whatever. Um, and I think I've found a case where that is not true. So I noticed in um, games, and I guess I'll just show something off, off screen, unfortunately, but for, for example, so this is using the EC1 at 1000 hertz. The same thing happens with my Death Adder V2, actually at 1000 hertz, where basically if I look really closely at a vertical object and I kind of pan back and forth, you know, it probably isn't clear in an off screen, but I can see um, little tiny camera jitters, especially in games that don't have camera motion blur. So that does not happen with the V3 set to say like 4,000 hertz point rate or even 2,000. And that could be down to this is a better sensor than in those mice. And um, obviously the point rate is much, much higher. But I noticed if I switch this to like 125, I mean, you can really see those, those camera jitters if you find a vertical object in the environment and then uh, just pan back and forth and then watch it closely. So the dilemma I have with the V3 though is, um, you know, I just don't find it as comfortable as some other options. And in terms of pure comfort, so I've been thinking about this. What is it that modern ergos are not doing that I want? And why, why don't I find these mice comfortable? Well, it comes down to peak mouse hump height. I mean, uh, the, the peak mouse height and then the width in the right direction that the mice have. So for example, I find that um, in terms of pure comfort in the hand, being the only metric, obviously I think the V2 has other problems, which I've talked about before. I still think the Death Adder V2 is overall the most comfortable, with the EC1 probably being the closest equivalent to it um, in terms of how the shape is. And it's like, okay, well, what does this ergo do that other mice don't? And what it does, a lot of it comes down to how wide it is, but then the profile feels lower where it places your hand on it um, versus some of these other mice. So for example, uh, you know, how I like to hold mice is that relaxed fingertip grip where I take this part of my fingers, I line it to the peak mouse hump, uh, and then I just sort of rest my fingers down. And it's at a slight tilt because, um, you know, if you tilt it, just the way this groove is, your thumb kind of rests closer in between these buttons. I don't think these are bad but what I've noticed is the outset, the outset's even worse about this because the outset has a raised, if you look at the, uh, you know, the Artings tool for uh, my shape comparisons, the outset actually has like a raised back hump. So that, that I find is even worse, worse about this. But um, where, you know, look, look at how your hand rests in this type of grip, right? So ideally, uh, you know, you, you want something like this and that's, that's actually not that high of a peak mouse hump. And what I notice is what's not comfortable is when your hand has to do this, right? Like where your fingers are forced upwards like this. And if the mouse is too tall, look at what, look at what happens. Like you're basically resting your fingers down and you're playing where it just like forces your fingers to rest really high up on the shell. And that's, that's not comfortable for long gaming sessions. And it's, if you look at the shape compare tools, it's not even that the V2 is shorter necessarily. It's just where I find my hand rests on it is is like further back on the shell and then it has that width to support your fingers wrapping around and so I just find it a bit more comfortable and the EC2 interestingly enough so this is the EC1 um, my EC2 is boxed right now but the EC2 I actually think the left half of that mouse is perfection it's the perfect height it has perfect side button positioning the clicks the wheel the side buttons it's all perfection and I love it right my problem with the EC2 is that um, it's not wide enough to support my hand in the grip style that I want. And what I mean by that is basically on the EC2, like let's say you're, you're doing that grip I want, your thumb will wind up being like way out here, right? And, and th that's not, it's just not, it doesn't feel right. And I think why these mice have these higher peak mouse points and why they're narrower now. I mean, the V3 is narrower than the V2 was. I think it's because if you watch a lot of tech reviewers, they favor a, a type of claw grip. And um, 
you know, and I think it's great for that because basically then you have this, this is your connection point and then your hands kind of do this and then your, your thumb aligns in between the buttons better. And, you know, you never run into those problems where your fingers kind of rest on, uh, beyond the corner, I would say, at least I don't the way that I would call it. But, uh, what, what I would love to see is just give me the EC2, but then make it wider in the right direction and then perhaps kind of adjust. I do think that on the EC mice, I think it can feel a little bit awkward the way that this rounded corner is handled because if you are someone that, that holds it dead on, like you're not tilt gripping it like this, but you're holding it dead on where your thumb kind of rests on this edge. So I, I'll start off by saying, I think because they rounded, it feels a lot less awkward than something like this where like razor having these hard edges, I think is a bad, a bad move. I don't like it. I don't think it feels good. Um, so I think they could have solved that by either lengthening this click out like they do on the G502. Or they could have kind of rounded the corners out. But it's weird to me that this side is actually slightly longer than this side. Because if anything, it should be reversed from that, I think. But, um, but yeah, so I don't know. that That's what I would like to see. And I even find like the V2 feels a little bit too tall. So what, what I would like would be uh, basically what I just described. Like, give me the EC2, exactly how it is. Widen it in the right direction so that it's like as wide as the EC1, for example. And then maybe adjust the way that this kind of curve in and curve out goes because it does separate your fingers if you hold it that way. It just feels a little bit awkward on this finger, I find, in a way that it actually doesn't. Like this curve on the DAV3, I find, actually feels like the way it rests your fingers down is fairly natural as long as you don't position your hand you know, far enough that it comes off the end, which if you dead hold it straight and you have larger hands, that may happen. And that doesn't feel great. But um, yeah, I guess I'm just kind of bummed because I think for for the way I hold my spark claw grip, this, this is a really good option. I think it feels great for a claw grip specifically to such an extent where I think that, that was the primary grip type they got their feedback for would be my, my bet. But um, I think in terms of pure comfort in the hand, I like the EC1. I just find that it sits my hand a little bit higher than is comfortable for me. I, I would rather that the peak mouse hump be lower, like EC2 height, and then just keep the width. And uh, the outset does do something I, I rather like, though. I think of all the mice I own, the outset, this finger ledge where it sort of wraps around, it's the least awkward feeling compared to all the other ones, if you hold it like dead straight on, it's just the raised back kills that mouse for me. And uh, anyway, but uh, right now I'm using my EC1, but that that pulling rate camera jitter thing, it was something that I never knew was tied to pulling rate because, I, well, I never had above a thousand hertz mice to test. And then once I got this guy in, it was the first time I said, you know what, I should check if putting this at like 8K fixes the camera jitter, and it does completely goes away. That issue, and I'm telling you, like, go into a variety of games, high refresh rate, right? So you're, you're playing at, like, 144 plus uh, FPS, and, you know, set an FPS cap there or something. Track a vertical object in the environment. Just pan the camera back and forth, no motion blur. You can see it. You can see the camera jitter, and I verified, like, I thought my Death Adder V2 sensor was failing or something, uh, but that's not the case. It also happens with my other mice at 1,000 hertz. So polling rate, um, I think you really want to be at 2,000 and then based on the Optimum Tech Test, 1,600 DPI, and then you just lower your in-game sense to compensate for that. But um, I don't know. I'm just like, I've, I own so many mice, and I feel like none of them are quite what I want. And I think I know exactly what I want. I just want the EC2, but wider in the right most direction. Like, keep the, the left half, keep the clicks, the side buttons, the wheel, keep, you know, all that. Give me maybe proper split trigger switches, a unibody shell, wider in the right most direction to, to be more supportive for this specific kind of grip style. Because, you know, I don't, at the end of the day, hybrid, mice being good candidates for hybrid grips, I think most people just use, that they favor one grip type over another. You know, and I can say that this shape is a dream and the changes that Razor made made sense if you use like a claw grip, for example. But for people like me, and maybe I just have abnormally wide hands, I do have fairly large hands, um, I find that most of these mice, they, they simply aren't wide enough to provide the support that I want. 
and then they end up having the mouse hump too high. So it feels like my fingers are doing this all the time. Uh, like I, I don't, I haven't been able to get used to this. And the weird thing is none of this sticks out to you unless you play with the mouse for a while and then go back and compare it to the other ones. And uh, I really do think this, this shape has occupied a specific niche for a long time because it's such a wide ergo. And, uh, you know, it has other problems, which is why I'm not using it on my desk at the moment. But uh, I don't know, man. I hope they have, like, a classic version of this at some point that gets the new sensor updates. And, I, you know, I like Zowie shapes. I think Zowie needs to put a better sensor in their mouse at this point, though, and, you know, give us, like, 2K, 4K pulling rate. And that would be nice. But uh, that, that jitter issue on camera animation is a lot less of an issue if you cap the frame rate at something lower, like 60. But I was surprised that I, I actually can see it, and I could reproduce it not, not even in just this game. I also tried it in um, the Robocop game, for example. So at, at high frame rates with a G-Sync output, you, you really can see the difference. So um, And that will vary based on game and you know, camera motion blur strength, things like that. But uh, anyway... Have a good one, guys. Thanks for your time. Bye.